You have secrets, I have secrets, even your app has secrets. Now let's manage them on railway. I mean, we call them environment variables here. So I have a library app here with different services where let's check the one for the web service. You have the variables here. These are called service variables because they are just scoped to this particular service. Now we you can of course add a new variable, you know, let's just say show. Uh, you can give the value true and then you can add, right? So now you can also reference variables. There's something called reference variables. So if I want to create like say an endpoint variable and I need values from say the app debug and app key, I can just do, you see, app debug, uh, maybe slash app env. So I can reference them and then it will just provide the values for me and I can add. Now I can also reference variables from another set. Reference something for a new variable here, I'll call the database URL. So all we have to do also is do like this and call the name of the service is my SQL and dot. So you can see just when you drop down, you can see all of the variables from the MySQL service. So I can just click on this and I can I can add it, right? And we just add it. Simple. Um, another thing we can also do is shared variables. Shared variables are variables that have that you can reference to, you know, in all of the services. So a very good example is if you need a variable that all of the services in your project like needs, you don't have to duplicate. You don't have to like go to each service to create them. You can just go to your shared variables, create it in your shared variables here already created for, and then you can come back to your service and reference them. So in this service now we have a shared variable here, catch stuff. Uh, I can also go to my SQL and you know reference that variable. So I'll show you how to reference it here. We have cache store, right? So let me just if I just do cache store, you can see it as a drop down. I can click on it and it automatically fills it. And I can just click add. And that's all you need to do. Uh, what else? You can also promote a variable. So this is a service variable. I want to promote it to a shared variable. I can just click here and click promote. It's going to ask me and I just click on promote and boom, it becomes a shared variable. Another thing we can also do is seal a variable for security reasons. Say you don't want people to be able to come to your dashboard and just like anybody that has access to this dashboard to be able to see the value of a variable. You can just right click here and then click on seal. Now you have to be very careful because once you seal this variable, you cannot unseal it, right? You can only get the value of this from your app, like by referencing the variable, even through the API for railway you cannot access it so be very careful when you are using this when you click on seal again you can see the warning here you can click seal variable and then if i click it for here now you can see this option to open it disappears you will not have access to it and if you want to know more about these variables just look at our docs